All right, ladies and gents, back again with another post-game reaction video of me reviewing a football game. Now I'm going to be reviewing the Ajax and Heracles Almelo game, and Ajax won the game 4-1. And all i got to say is I've never seen a much better connection than uh, Hakim Ziyech to Quincy Promise. That connection is absolutely incredible. But before I get into the match review, I want to uh, tip my hat off to both clubs for protesting against racism and showing their support against uh, racism because that's what they did at the beginning of the match so that was very heartwarming i enjoy that and i gotta give my respect to both clubs for that because i feel like that m more clubs in europe should be doing that like how ajax and heracles did tonight because unfortunately racism today is still a big problem in football and what they just did just uh, absolutely was just great man i feel like that they did a great job of just standing up against it at the beginning of the match and in uh, protesting the the kickoff but let's get into the game right now. So, uh, Quincy Promise, man, this guy is starting to become like a Raheem Sterling-like player for for Ajax, I feel like, because of his ability just to be a consistent goal scorer. And Quincy Promise right now has been recently a big, consistent goal scorer for Ajax. And I think that that's what can really uh, kickstart this Ajax team into making it far in the Champions League. Because trust me, Ajax, they should have made it the Champions League final last season. They should have freaking made it. But Tottenham just got completely lucky. I hate to say it, got nothing against Tottenham. They showed up, but Tottenham got really lucky against Ajax. They did. You can't tell me that they didn't get lucky. But I feel like that Hakeem Ziyech's presence there is what makes up for the loss of De, uh, De Jong and De Ligt. Because this Ajax team, hey, they look like they haven't missed a beat without De Jong and De Ligt being at the club. And I feel like that Matthijs De Ligt should have stayed at the club for another year because uh, Frankie De Jong, hey, he has been absolutely adapting greatly to Barcelona and looks like Frankie de Jong made the right choice of leaving Ajax for Barcelona. But as for Matthijs de Ligt, I feel like that maybe that I, I feel like that he now this is my complete honest opinion. I feel like that he made the wrong choice in signing for Juventus just because I feel like that maybe he was uh, he signed for them because of Cristiano Ronaldo's words. And I feel like that that's why de, de Ligt left to go to Juve. But I think that he should have gone to Barcelona. That's just my opinion. I think that if De Ligt was going to leave Ajax, he should have made the right choice and signed for Barcelona because over there he would have developed a great connection with De Jong. Seriously, he would have done that. And uh, I feel like that Ronaldo's words are really the main reason why De Ligt is with Juventus. Let's be honest here. That is the main reason why De Ligt chose to go to Juventus to play alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. Because if Ronaldo hadn't gone to Juventus, then I don't think Matthijs De Ligt would have gone to Juventus either, but De Ligt can still prove himself at Juventus, but De Ligt, um, I think that he's pretty unhappy with the club, because that's what Patrick Clivert said, and I do kind of agree with Patrick Clivert, I think that De Ligt is a bit unhappy at Juventus, just because he hasn't been able to adapt to the club, well, adapt to the pressure at the club, and that can really ruin his form, so, uh, yeah, if I was De Ligt, I would have either stayed at Ajax for another year, or I would have just gone to Barcelona, that's what I would have done instead. You know, and uh, that's just my personal opinion. But, hey, Zakaria Lombayat, he scored the uh, third goal today for... No, he scored the uh, second goal for Ajax. And then Huntelar balled out once again. Huntelar scored a goal for Ajax today. So, another big, big win for Ajax. And Hakim Ziyech, this guy has practically become the Luka Modric of the AFC Ajax team. That's I have to compare this guy to Luka Modric because the way how he's been playing right now, he's been practically playing like Luka Modric, basically this uh this past season for Ajax and he can become a, sh a, uh, a contender for Ballon d'Or he can finish I think in top 20 or top 10 for Ballon d'Or voting if Hakim Ziyech continues his fine performances for Ajax but anyways guys let me know what you thought about this game and if you enjoyed this vid leave a like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later peace